check, check. To celebrate the Divi theme build, the Divi 4.0 theme build, a MacBook Pro, check, check. To celebrate a MacBook Pro, the Divi 4.0, don't forget to check back. Well, you heard it for yourself. The new Divi 4.0 theme builder update for the Divi theme now has a release date in just a few weeks. Now, this is going to be the biggest update for Divi since the Visual Builder, since version 3.0. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about what's going to change and how this is going to basically change the way you build websites with the Divi theme. Now, if you're not really familiar with the term, the theme builder update, this is basically the ability to add a custom header and footer on every single page of your website. This includes the default WooCommerce pages. This includes the archive pages. This includes custom post site pages as well. So for example, right here, I'm sure many of you have probably built a website with Divi and maybe e-commerce and you have seen this page right here and you really can't edit it whatsoever. The new update will allow you to fully customize all of the pages on your website. This includes even the default shop page with Divi. So going back over here, let's scroll down right here. So again, right here, custom headers and footers. So we know we're getting custom headers and footers for this update. Also right here, site-wide post templates. You will be able to customize your post archive page. You'll be, you'll be able to customize your blog archive page. You'll be able to customize every single page on your website from here on out. So I know before it was very difficult to design your archive pages, especially when you made a custom shop page or a custom blog page and then someone clicked on categories, it would revert back to the old default page. You can now design that page from scratch. That's very awesome. Now we know with the theme builder, they're adding in headers and footers. They're adding in product templates, also category pages, shop pages, even 404 pages, and they did say and more. I am curious as to see and more what's, you know? So we'll be waiting for that and seeing what they're going to offer us when they release the updates. Now, in case you're, you still wanna know a little bit more about the theme builder and what it includes. So for example, right here, this would be your new shop page. This right here would be your default blog page. So remember, when you're blogging, uh, the original way with Divi is if you clicked on a category, it would revert back to the actual, it would revert back to the default Divi blog module or the Divi uh, theme uh, theme category or whatever it is. So now this will be your, your default one whenever someone clicks on a category. Also for products and pages, you can actually now, well right now, you can design your products, but with this update, it would display the shop or product page that you can design from scratch. So no longer will people be reverted back to those old, ugly, um, you know, default uh, settings. Uh, also right here, this is just another example of a blog and this would be your default blog page. Also, for those of you who are using Lifter LMS or using any sort of custom post type, you'll be able to design the custom header and footer on those pages as well. Same thing with WooCommerce. Same thing with easy digital downloads as well. So this is gonna be a very, very big update. So just in short, you'll be able to design every single page and you'll be able to add custom headers and footers on every single page. Now, in case you wanna see how it looks like, we'll go over here and check it out. So it looks something like this right here, where you'll basically have this global header, you'll have your content in the middle, and global footer. Now I'm assuming from here that we will be able to set conditions, but right here it looks like they just set a global footer. This right here is a custom footer, so they probably have this applied on certain pages. I am not too sure yet, but I'm pretty sure that it has conditions. I'm almost I'm almost positive that it has conditions. Now when I say conditions, that means to be displayed on certain pages. Maybe you don't want a custom footer on one page but you want it on another page so i'm pretty sure you will be able to set conditions with this new theme builder updates so also if you want to win a new macbook make sure to enter this is just a basically a celebration for um, the new update that's coming out so nick actually said hey you know what we're going to give away a free macbook pro you can go ahead and enter in the description below totally free just give them all your uh just join the newsletter just click all the links, click all the links, and you'll be, uh, you'll be automatically entered to win a MacBook Pro. Now, if there's anything else that you want to talk about, or, you know what, you know what tell, let's do this, let's do this. If you wanna see a certain feature, or if you really want something from Divi that they haven't released yet, put them in the comments below. I'm very eager to listen to people what they want to have for the Divi theme. Myself, I think this is all that was needed. I don't really think of anything that I mean, there's little gadgets and widgets like, you know, oh, gradient text or something like that that you can add, but something that is just really core, I think this is it. And I think that after this update, it'll basically be a very complete theme. 
and it's gonna really it's really gonna it's really gonna have their competitors looking around saying oh crap you know they've introduced that what are we gonna do you know so again you know um i'm really eager to see this update and until then i will see you all later in the next video bye